to carry or not to carry? That is the question. Hello friends, this is Wayne Goforth, the Pistol Packing Preacher. On a regular basis, I get texts, phone calls, emails from people who ask me, can I carry at Walmart now that they have a sign? Or carry, carry at a particular restaurant like a Chili's because they serve alcohol there. There are two different signs that you need to be aware of when it comes to the sale of alcohol. One of those is referred to as the blue sign. It is this sign that simply says, and all you have to do is read the signage, that says the unlicensed possession of a weapon on these premises is a felony. Now, these signs are going to be at anywhere that sells any amount of alcohol in the state of Texas. That means if it's a Chili's restaurant or if it is a Kroger grocery store or a Walmart, any grocery store that will sell any amount of alcohol, whether it's for on-premises consumption, such as a restaurant, or if it is for off-premises consumption, like at a convenience store or even at a liquor store, then they are also required by TABC to display this sign. However, for you and me as concealed carry holders, the sign says the unlicensed possession of a weapon. You and I are licensed. The L of a CHL stands for concealed handgun license. You and I are licensed individuals. For you and I, that means come on in, the water's fine. The sign that they are confusing it with is what's referred to as the 51% sign. The 51% sign is this one, and it's going to have the big, ugly, red 51% right in the middle. Every rare once in a while, I have seen that that 51% has faded out. So you may still have a sign that has all the exact wording, but the 51% is gone because this has been in a window a little bit too long and the 51% has faded out. Something about that red lettering fades out sooner than the black lettering. But even so, it's going to have the same lettering that says the license or unlicensed carry of a weapon on these premises is a felony. Again, just read the wording. It, this one, it doesn't matter if it's licensed or unlicensed. Either one of those is going to be against the law. This is going to be on not liquor stores because you can't consume in a liquor store. This is not going to be at a convenience store because again, it's illegal to consume on the premises of a convenience store. This is going to be on a bar. Now, somebody says, well, how do I know if it's a bar or not? Maybe they don't have the sign. They're supposed to, but what if they don't have the sign? Well, all you have to do is go in, Look at the liquor license that's on the wall. If it has a faint pinkish red background, then just like this sign, it is going to be off limits for all guns. On the other hand, if it has a faint bluish background, then you're good to go. When you look at the 51% sign and it specifies the license or unlicensed, you contrast that with the blue sign that simply says the unlicensed. But people ask me, well, I thought it was already against the law to carry at establishments if you did not have a concealed handgun license. While that is true, if you carry though where alcohol is sold, it becomes a felony. Whereas normally if you carry without a license, it's a misdemeanor. Check your signs, check your concealment, you're good to go. Have a good day and God bless.